All right, so in this video, I'm going to be solving a question again from vectors. As uh, you guys know, this is a topic that is very much in demand these days. A lot of you are requesting me to post uh, past paper questions of vectors. So here I am with another question, and this is from October, November 2018. Paper one, variant one. Now, although it's paper one, but the whole idea is to understand the concept since uh, we saw earlier that vectors can also come in paper two. So that's exactly what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try and explain each and every single part so that you can understand the concept here. And the reason why I've chosen this question is because this has one of these ratio parts, which I've noticed that a lot of students tend to struggle with. So hopefully this will make things easier. Once you follow the gist of it, this, will, this concept will be a lot easier for you to apply if a question like this comes in the exam. So let's get straight to it. It says in the diagram, ABCD is a parallelogram. X is the point on BC such that BX is to XC are in the ratio three is to one. This is the part that I'm talking about. You're given AB, you're given AD, and they are 6B and 8Q respectively. Now, the second that you see the word parallelogram, what you should do instantly is that you can find out a couple of vectors instantly, like I said. So AB is 6P, that means D to C is also going to be 6P because it's a parallelogram. And B to C, this entire vector, is also going to be 8Q, okay? Now, since it's further divided, which is why I've written it on the side, because that you don't sort of assuming, so sort of end up uh, assuming that uh, BX is 8Q, it's the entire vector from B to C, okay? Okay, then it says express BX in terms of B and or Q. Okay, so in order to do that, we'll have to go back to the ratio that's given to us. Now, three ratio one, BX and XC, or in the ratio three is to one, basically means that BX is three parts, XC is one part. So that means that this entire length has been broken down into four and BX takes three, uh, three parts and XC takes one part. So if I want to write it down as a fraction of the total, so here's what I can do. BX is going to be equal to three upon four of the total. That means of BC and XC is going to be one fourth of the total which is BC. Now think of it this way. Say you have uh, $20 and you want to split it in the ratio three is to one. So what you're doing is you have $20, you're making four parts of it. Okay. You're taking out four equal parts from the 20, or you can, you're dividing 20 into four equal parts. You're giving three to one and three parts to one and one part to another. Okay. So that's how this works. BX has been broken down into BC, sorry, has been broken down into four parts. BX takes three of those parts and XC takes the remaining one part okay so what i've done is i've just re-expressed them as a fraction of the total now in part a the question is asking us to express them in terms of p and or q so that means this won't cut it i need to find out i need to find this in vector terms meaning in terms of p and or q so in order to do that all i gotta do is i gotta replace bc with what it is in terms of q which is 8q now if you multiply this so four ones are four twos are what you end up with is six q so that tells me that the vector from B to X is basically 6Q, okay? Hopefully that makes sense now. Now what you can do is, and what you should do instantly is that you should also work out XC and this is going to be 2Q, okay? 8Q minus 6Q is 2Q. Okay, next. Next you have to find out AX, which should be a no brainer. So we're gonna go from A to B and then from B to X. So here's what I'm doing to find out AX. AX is gonna be A to B plus B to X. So AB is 6P and P to X is 6Q, okay? So let's write this over here, 6P plus 6Q. Okay, let me just write this nicely, yeah. Okay, now here it says, Y is a point on CY such that, sorry, CY is equal to 3P plus Q, express AY in terms of P and or Q. Now, while we can express this very easily, but there's something I want you to further develop the understanding of is that suppose we had to locate the point Y where exactly will that end up? So CY basically means 3P plus Q. Now let's have a look at P and Q. P is a vector which is in this direction, okay? AB is six times of it, okay? And Q is a direction, Q is a vector which is in this direction and AD is eight times of it. So if a vector is three times of P, that means it's sort of going to be half of the length of AB, okay? So here's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get from C to Y. So this will approximately be 3y, okay, approximately. Remember, we don't necessarily have to draw this to scale. Plus q, since that's what cy is, 3p plus q. So that means we're gonna have a vector which is one times of q. So somewhere here is where we're likely to find the point y, okay? So this right here is 3p and this right here is q, okay? That's sorted. So if I wanna go from a to y, I can do that by going from A to C 
and then from C to Y. C to Y, I already know, the question has been kind enough to tell me. A to C, we can work it out, it's gonna be 8Q plus 6P. So here's, here's what I've done, in case you're wondering, I hope not though, uh, A to D and then D to C. So that's 8Q plus 6P. So 8Q plus 6P plus CY guide forward, 3P plus Q. So here's what we do. 8Q plus Q is 9Q, 6P plus 3P is going to be 9P, and then you write it nicely, meaning 9P plus 9Q, although you could have written 9Q plus 9P, makes no difference, just an OCD that I have. Okay, then it says find the ratio AX is to XY. Okay, so we have AX, right? Yeah, AX was 6P plus 6Q, and then AY is 9P plus 9q. Now finding the ratio basically means I'm going to divide the two. Now before I do that, I'd like to take 6 common from ax, so I get p plus q inside the bracket. I'd like to take 9 common from the from ay, so again I'm left with p plus q. What happens next is that p plus q and p plus q get cancelled out. And I'll tell you why this happens. First let's finish this. 6 upon 9 when simplified is going to be 2 upon 3, is it? Yeah, 3 2s are 6, 3 3s are 9. So 2, ratio 3. And there you go, that's your final answer, and uh, that's also the end of the question. Now, what I want you to understand what this question means by AX and AY, suppose the question was asking you to find out, say, comment on A, X, and Y. So, since they're in a certain ratio, there are two things that are likely to happen. A, they're either parallel, or they can be collinear. Now, over here, there's no way they can be parallel because they have a common point. So that means it they have to be collinear. So AX is nine times of, sorry, six times of P plus Q, and AY is the same vector, meaning P plus Q, but instead it is nine times of it. So that means they're not parallel, they are definitely collinear. And the reason, uh, the way that you distinguish is that collinear vectors have a common point, okay? So just like here, they have a common, start, common point, which is the starting point, which tells us that they are indeed collinear, okay? Collinear points, basically. So yeah, uh, that brings me to the end of this question. Hopefully you guys have understood the concepts involved in this question. And that's all for this video. See you guys in the next one. Until then, take care, bye-bye.